the head coach of the U.S. ski team. And uh, he invited me to this Young Guns camp. Mm -hmm. Knew nothing about, really honestly didn't get that much information besides that it was like a a U.S. ski team sanctioned camp Mm -hmm. for like next up up and coming mogul skiers. And uh, I remember my parents were like, that's awesome. And he was like, all you have to do is get a flight to Utah on these days and a flight home. Okay, great. So I end up going there and I go to this camp and I remember like I was supposed to stay with Ralsey. Um, And he picks me up from the airport. I don't know this guy, anything like we drive up to Park City. I've never been to Utah, anything. And we go to the the grocery store and we're walking around and it's Scott and I just vibing. And we run into this whole group of people and it's a, it's Hunter Bailey, his dad, and like six kids, all from Colorado. Okay. And uh, all the people from Colorado, they knew each other, everything, right? So they they all were staying together in one big house. You know, they all got together, planned it. Yep. I'm the one Eastern kid. And uh, yeah, Hunter's dad was just like great. And he was like, where are you saying all this stuff? And he ended up talking to Scout for like 10 minutes. And then he was like, okay, Emerson, look, grab your stuff. You're going to stay with us. Oh, uh, that's cool. So I go move into this house with like all these Colorado kids that know each other and stuff. And back then that camp, like it was like 14 days, tons of training, water ramping on snow, like all this stuff. And I get to go like stay in this house with all these kids, my age who are like all sick at skiing and stuff, which was like, it was awesome. Right. Like some of those guys became like my lifelong friends. Yeah. But that's when I first really met them, mm-hmm. right? I had seen them at this junior nationals or gone and watched nationals. And, you know, like back then you heard the name Bruce Perry Jr. Right. And you're like, holy shit, right? Yeah. Like he was on that classic Watervale junior nationals video of like the the next gen of bump skiers or whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah no, and no, it was like, it was crazy. Like he was like famous to me. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so I go stay with them, and then at this point, I'm like all in. Yeah. Mogul scheme, like, that's, all right, like, this is what I that's all I want to do. This is like the yeah. most fun 14 days of my life. Yeah. And it turns out while I was there, my parents never said a word. They flew out to Colorado, went up went, to Breckenridge. And just rented a place. Rented a place. We were moving there starting August 1st. My brother's stoked. Breck has like the sickest park in the world. Did you have any idea they were going to do it like before the trip? <sighs> like not like, really no, we've kind of decided like yeah. we want to make this move yeah it's like That's i'm really in cool. utah at this camp and i think i'm i'm talking to him every night right and yeah. i just like i can't shut up about how awesome this is right and they just so like they can hear it in your voice next thing like, you know right. they fly to colorado three-day trip they rent a place we're moving there and what's crazy too is like i didn't even know where i was gonna ski there yeah we didn't have a club we didn't know anything right you come from the east coast you ski on these weekend clubs you go to the one big academy Right. You go to CVA, you go to Gould, you go to KMS, you go to Stratton. Mm-hmm. Well, out west, it's a lot different, right? Yeah. No, Way different, different. setup. So we end up moving out west August 1st, do the road trip, everything, and still no idea. No idea who, what team, who the coaches are, anything. <laughs> and uh, I go to Steamboat for a day. You can sign up, just whatever, ramp with whoever the guy running the show there is that day. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, we had asked a bunch of people um, about, like, Team Summit or Team Breck. And, like, you know, no one had anything bad to say about Chris Carson. Everyone was just, like, yeah. nicest guy ever, all this stuff, you know. You get mixed reports about this Dowling character and stuff. And I go there, and it just so happens Dowling's there with, like, a few Sounds Team good. Breck athletes. Okay. like At the Steamboat Water Ramp. At the Steamboat okay. Water Ramp. And, um without any asking anything like all he got out of me was that we just moved to to Breckenridge and uh well throughout the day he just started coaching me and right like coming from Killington and all this stuff there's all these talks about like goals like okay like you want to go to the Olympics say it like you can do it you know like yeah you're you're in that pipeline and like I remember Dowling coached me and he was just like kind of hard on me yeah and at the end of the day, he kind of looked at me. He's like, yeah, yeah, you have some talent. A lot of work, a lot of work. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and we get in the car and like, I think it's my dad and I were both like, hmm. I like that guy. 
Yeah. He shot it straight. Like, right. you know, like he didn't blow any smoke up the ass or anything. And he right. just like shot it straight and was like, maybe one of the first like coaches at that time in my career to be like, you get a lot of work to do kid. Right. But right. His exact point was like, I'll get you there. Like, yeah. I'll help I can you do it. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. That's and cool. we left that day and never ended up talking to Chris Carson or team summit. Just like from that really? day forward, I, I joined team Breck. Hey everybody. I hope you enjoyed that clip. You can click right here to see the entire episode. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thanks.